Hey everybody, Pink Camera Magic here. And today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys the court transcript. I actually have a lot of people in the comment section they were kind of wondering what happened in court after I was arrested in Cook County and before the depositions were taken. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was arrested in Cook County for recording outside of the building and now I'm actually releasing a lot of the documents and things like that. So um, I was arrested, obviously. I was, um, or they said I was detained. I was handcuffed and I was brought down to a judge without any kind of charges, without um, anything like that. So what I wanted to do is give you the transcript that we got of what happened actually in that court. And now brace yourself, you guys, because some of you are going to be really upset. This is very, very disturbing. Um, if you think the deputies are bad and you think the sergeant's bad and the lieutenant's bad, well, it goes a lot further than that, folks. We have judges right here, and you're not going to believe what they're saying. Now, keep in mind, I was never charged with a crime. I had no due process, nothing at all, literally just recording outside of a courthouse. So uh, here we go. Okay, I was brought in front of a, a judge, um, and I was accompanied by Lieutenant Malazzo and Sergeant Larson. So here we go. Um, uh, let me see. The court, meaning is that's Judge Peter Felice. So uh, when it says the court, that's what they mean. Anyways, uh, the court, Lieutenant, uh, would you step up to my state's attorney, please? Have her stand over there, talking about me. Uh, and over there, briefly, can you tell me what took place here, what you observed? Uh, Judge Mal or Lieutenant said, Judge, we observed. Then the, um, the judge interrupted, basically, and said, wait, let's get this straight. What is your name, ma'am? I'm Amanda Bergquist, so my name, how do you spell your name? Um, and you live where? And I gave him the address and uh, so he asked, what was this woman observed doing, basically, All right? Even though I just told him my name, but he's like this woman. And also you're gonna notice too that he has a habit of cutting people off after asking them questions. But anyways, but I digress. Uh, what was observed this woman, what was this woman observed doing? Malazzo said, well, she was observed videotaping in front of the building and when the doors would open, trying to videotape inside the doors. When we asked her what she was doing and why, she refused to identify herself, refused to explain what she was doing, wouldn't tell us anything until we took her in to detain to find out who she was. Side note there, I never told him who I was then. And also, he did not come out till after the fact, so he had no idea what I was recording. So uh, moving on. The judge said, uh, well, can you tell the court for what reason you're videotaping this facility and people walking in and out? So you guys see the assumptions that were made already, right? Anyways, um, I said, that's not true. I wasn't. And then he interrupted me. Well, there is people walking in and out of the front door. Am I correct? I said, well, what happened is I have business here. I have court at 1.30 for some traffic stuff. So I was getting ready to leave out, go outside, kill some time, which is true, folks. And there is reflection in the front of the courthouse, as all of you probably saw who saw the video. Um, I, actually, at the time, I wasn't recording the door. Not that that would matter. Uh, but I was outside the whole time recording the reflective glass, which I was. I was recording my own reflection. The judge says, why? And I said, just because I record, it's a hobby. The judge right away said, take it and erase it from the camera right now. Can you please do that? Now, mind you, um, this is like horribly... Like, this is just a horrible thing for a judge to be able to do. But also, on top of that, uh, Lieutenant Malazzo had already deleted my SD card and the video back when he had the camera before seeing the judge. Um, I said, I think he already did. The court, did you erase it? Lieutenant Malazzo, I couldn't. The court, um, now there is a standing order that no photography is to take place inside of the courtroom. And that is going to include the entrance and the exits. Because what could happen is you could be recording and taping somebody, uh, let me see what it says, um, who is an important witness or a defendant or a complainant, and uh, we just don't want all that in this building. Do you understand? Y'all see what he just did there, right? Like he literally changed the, the judicial order right there on the spot just because. So, so let that sink in, guys. So I said, right, I understand, but I was outside the whole time. He said, just listen to me, erase that, please. Would you check to see if it, it has been erased, please? So he's <laughs> looking to me to look at it, see if it's been erased, right? 
The court, he's very impatient. He's like, yes. Then Lieutenant Malazzo said, and while we were looking for that video, which he admits right there that he went through my video, my, my camera, judge, there are other images on that that created some suspicion. The court, erase it all. Is there a tape in there? <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, he's a little bit older, so, you know. Um, I said, a tape? No, there's an SD card, though. The court, take the SD card. Is that what's recorded on the SD card? Yes. Take the SD card and hand it to my sheriffs. Now I can do one of one of those two things. Um, do you want to surrender that SD card or I want you to erase it? You're not going to take it. I'll have one of my professionals erase it. So you see what he's doing here? He's doing everything in his power without due process to make sure that I have no video evidence of anything. They doesn't even know what I was recording. Not that it matters because I was doing it from a public space. So that's tyranny right there, folks. This is the ignorance and the buffoonery within the Cook County Sheriff's Department and the Cook County court system. And the higher you go, I think the worse it gets. So, um, so anyways, uh, I said it's right there. Do you want it back? Yes, I would like it back, of course. Well, then I'll have to have my staff clean it. Okay. Um, is there any other devices on that camera? I said, no, we even looked in there. Now I want you to write down your name, address, phone number so that you can be reached with our, with my sheriff. And then I want you to come back here tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning. So he set up a time. So literally he set up a court date for me, right? No charges, no tickets issued, nothing like that. He literally set up a date. And now the questions that I'm going to ask following this was just to solidify that that's exactly what he was doing. So, so I said, yes, sir. He said, you, wait, uh, da, 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 da. Um, he said, there's no other recording devices, right? I said, nope. He said, now I'm going to tell you like this. I'm giving you a warning. The sheriffs have given you a warning. You don't do this again. I said, okay. So now I wanted to establish, you know, exactly the perimeters and what he had to say. So I said, where can I record? Right. He said, uh, you can't record the entrance or the exits of this building. And you know what? I'm ordering you that you uh, can't record the parking lot either. Do I make myself clear? You see what he's doing there? He's just literally making up rules as he goes. So I said, yes. Can I go from the sidewalk? He said, no, no. Do not record this building. People coming in and out or anybody in the parking lot. Do not record here. Do not record there. You cannot record anywhere. You cannot record... Cor <laughs> Cook County Courthouse, you cannot record it, Felice, I am. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. So the court, um, the, the order of the Circuit Court of Cook County is that there's no photography to be conducted inside of the building, which obviously I wasn't inside the building. As a matter of fact, the protections that are supported by that order really protect those individuals who come into the building. So I will include the parking lot and the exterior of the building. Do you understand? Yes. The court. If I find that you're doing it again, I will hold you in contempt of court. Do you understand what contempt of court is? Unlike his lieutenant and the sergeant, yes, I do know what contempt means. The court. That's you ref refusing to obey a lawful order of this court. You do that, you could be locked up to six months. Furthermore, I will destroy your camera. Any questions or confusion as to what I just said? I said, no, sir. And, you know, I wasn't going to press the issue or tell him, explain to him how he's breaking laws and things like that. Because people like that, what you got to understand is they're not going to be convinced by what you say. You can't tell them anything. He probably never even listened to anything that I said because you saw how he was interrupting people. Um, he's very arrogant, has this God complex, and there's nothing that you can say that's going to convince him otherwise. So the best thing I could do is just get out as safe as possible and do whatever I can to get my SD card out of there. So anyways, um, I will see you on Friday at 9 o'clock. said Friday at 9. Friday at 9 o'clock. This room, 103. Sheriff, uh, would you kindly put this in the envelope with her name? And then I'll have my technical people. Uh, I will have my technical people take care of it. Is there any questions that you have or any confusion? The clerk said, Judge, uh, you wanted the name, address, and phone number. I want her name, address, phone number, and court date. So you hear that? That's a court date. Okay, do you have? Do we have an understanding? I said, yes. Any questions about it? No. Any confusion? No. And then I said, wait, but one question, and I just wanted to verify that this is a mandatory court date. So I said, is this, is, is this, is it to be seen? He said, I can't hear you. 
is it for an appearance or do I just come anytime to pick up my SD card? No, you will come and see me. Okay. I'll be here at 9.30 on Friday morning. Be here Friday morning. Okay. Uh, thank you. Give her back her camera. Thank you. Have a good day. There's no other cards around, is there? No, just uh, the one that was in there. Okay, so he literally gave me a court date, folks, with no charges and no ticket or anything. But I'm apparently just because he said so, I have to go to court. So, um, anyways, that's that's basically it. It was a very short appearance. And uh, so what I did is I came back that following Friday and I brought a couple of people with me because I needed witnesses to show exactly, you know, that this actually happened. Like I could not believe my ears. I couldn't believe my eyes. And like, it was just like totally, you know, unbelievable. So i made sure to bring some witnesses. And what happened when I came back for the SD card, they didn't put me on the record. They didn't call my name or anything like that. He literally called me up and he was like, hey, is the lady with the camera here? Yes. Okay. So he came, came up. He gave me my SD card back and he said, we didn't touch anything. We didn't erase anything. Have a nice day. That's what he said. What I suspect happened is he spoke with somebody who um, counseled him and, and advised him that, no, uh, you cannot do that, judge. You cannot just take her stuff and demand that it be deleted with no due process for somebody who's recording outside of a courthouse building. Okay, not even outside of the courtroom. I wasn't even in the building. I was literally outside. So I'm assuming that's what happened. We gave it right back to me and everything was fine. And so what I ended up doing and everything was deleted off my SD card. So I don't know if you guys remember Black Label Cop Watch. I know we haven't heard from him in a while, but I actually sent the SD card to him and he was able to recover the footage for me. And that's the footage that you guys see online. So um, you see they like to cover up their, their deeds and how they treat people and they don't you know, they, they don't like seeing what they do because it's it's ugly. You know what I mean? Who would want to see that? They, you know, they see the way that they behave and they don't want any type of evidence of that. So so that's what happened. I thought you guys would appreciate this, um, this court transcript here. I'm actually surprised that it exists considering the fact that I didn't actually have a court date, but, you know, obviously the court reporter was there and doing their thing. So... Um, anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comments. You know, if you've been supporting me, please uh, hit that like button. I'd appreciate that. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me. And enable the uh, notification bell if you want to get those notifications for any time that I go live or post new videos. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.